Hello, and welcome to the tutorial section of the Forest Ecosystem Monitoring Cooperative Portal. In this tutorial, we will be going over how to customize the additional features of your project. This will make your project easily searchable and provide additional information. Starting from the home page, click on your account to get to the dashboard. Click on the Manage Projects and Datasets button. From here, you can click on the Jump to Projects link. Here you can select a project that you would like to manage. From here you are going to want to click on the Edit Project Information button. Some features that you don't get to customize as you are initially creating your project are the logo, images, tags, themes, project links, and project locations. If you would like to know how to edit project locations, please refer to the Adding a Project Location tutorial to learn how to use this feature. Let's first change the logo. Click on the Change Logo link. You will then be presented with two options. You can either use an existing image or upload a new image. Let's upload a new image. In order to upload a new image, you're going to choose a file. You will then add a file name and a description of the file. You also have the option to note the creator of the file and the creation date. Once you completed filling out the information, you will click Update Logo. The next image that you can change is your featured image. This is the image that you will be in your project overview on the public side of the website. Changing your featured image requires the same steps as changing your logo. As you can see, both our logo and feature image are now on the website. The next step is to add tags. Tags are similar to Google search terms and make your project easily searchable. Similar to tags, themes can also be added, making your project easier to find by those looking for it specifically or projects related to a certain theme. In order to do this, click on Change Themes. From here, you can turn on whatever tags apply to your project. You can then add links to sites that are related to your project. In this case, I'll be providing a link to the iTree website. Once you have input your URL, you can test a link by clicking on the Test Link button. Once you have verified that the link has worked, you can click Add Link, which will add the link to your project. The last feature you can add is the project location, but as I stated earlier, we will be going over this process in another tutorial. Before we leave, let's see what your project will look like on the website. In order to accomplish this, you will click on the View This Project on the Website link. By clicking the link, it will show you what your project looks like on the site. 